Well, aloha, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. I'm very grateful for your presence today. My name is Master Paul. Today we have a very exciting subject. I'm sure there will be a lot of people that will be joining because we are in the season of love. And I will be sharing with you some insights and some spiritual wisdom around true love and why is it distant could be distant in a current love relationship you have it could be non-existent why is it distant and how do we find it or find it again so I'll be sharing with you some some insights on that hopefully you'll uh, be able to get some value out of this wisdom that I'll be sharing with you today I'm sure you have friends and family that can probably use it and so feel free to share this live stream on your friends timelines as well and so I hope that what I have to share can benefit you um, I give you a little bit of insight for as more people are gathering as to what uh, what prepares me to be someone who has um, enough wisdom to share on this subject matter so I am over a half a century old and it took me till that point until I was able to find someone to to say you know this is the one love and I didn't actually find love until that point in time not any kind of a, a love and um, then I found my true love and it's as a result of the blessings I received from my spiritual father master Shaw uh, he helped clear the karmas the Shen Qi Jing blockages that I had created the negative energy blockages that I had created uh, I was a good person I did many good things met many good people but it didn't uh, manifest and so along from here to there I got to have a lot of experiences in a lot of different relationships uh, I trained under several different masters <coughs> who have taught me uh, significant uh, spiritual wisdoms and with all of the, this half century of wisdom and training under these three different spiritual teachers I eventually wrote a book called soulmate karma and I'll be touching on some of the wisdom in that today uh, this is an ebook you can uh, receive it in PDF format uh, right off my website if you're interested in it I'm not here to sell you the book I'm here to share with you some of the things that I have learned along the way as to how we distance ourselves uh, knowingly wittingly unwittingly sometimes it's things that are within our control most of the time it's things that we're unaware of uh, and sometimes it's things that that we're aware of but we refuse to change or we don't have the tools the wisdom and the knowledge to change them but in any case you'll learn quite a bit today and hopefully uh, be empowered with some tools that can assist you in um, resolving that so there will be a lucky recipient today of a special blessing I will be offering a Tao soul light uh, blessing today a crown chakra blessing and I look forward to serving you in many ways with this uh, and I, I will be using that uh, complimentary blessing to unlucky recipient as a way to um, share with you some of the solutions that are available for those that are having difficulty in their life in either maintaining or keeping love or keeping that love strong um, there are many different physical world answers like more romance or or uh, how do you get more romance you can find all those in the cosmopolitan magazines and all the other uh, books that are out there I'm going to be touching on things from a different perspective from a spiritual perspective and sometimes it will come from different perspectives of the um, of the blockages the negative energy blockages that can reside in the heart so we'll talk about those as well I'm gonna stop for a moment and acknowledge all those that are joined us so far here today so welcome uh, Samba Aloha Bonnie welcome also Thomas Schmidt and uh, Carla Cadillac welcome Ani Savage welcome also Tony and welcome Karina Aloha thank you all for your presence welcome also to uh, Ose welcome Kristen Rojas thank you for your service Aloha also to Maya and welcome also to Nim uh, welcome uh, Master Janine welcome also to Margaret Aloha Diana welcome Crane and Bozena welcome also to Verbody and Carrie Hathorn welcome Karen Mahoney thank you all for clicking on the share button letting other people know 
about today's live stream. I'm sure that you all have family and friends that could probably utilize this wisdom. So welcome also to Diana Martin, Jennifer, welcome. Uh, Verari, I think I said that right. Verari. <coughs> Not a name I've ever heard before, so I probably destroyed it. Welcome. Holding up a potential sneeze there. Okay. So let us first connect, because one of the keys of finding love, uh, bringing it back from the distance that it can be from us, is an open heart. And as simple as that sounds, it's not so simple to open or maintain an openness. A lot of people have closed their hearts. We're going to be talking a bit about that today. But one of the simple ways to at least start cracking it open is through what we're going to do now. Through the Song of Love, Peace, and Harmony. It is a mantra that was received about 15 years ago. It's been translated into over 40 languages and it is sung around the world in six different continents. We will sing it today to open our hearts more and prepare us energetically for the wisdom, teachings, and blessings that are to come. So let us begin. Hello. And for those that are new, just receive. This is a blessing, okay? Close your eyes, receive. Those who wish to sing, join with me. Lu la lu la li Lu la lu la la li U la lu la li lu la Lu la li lu la Lu la li lu la Wo ai wo xian I love my heart and soul. I love all humanity. Join hearts and souls together. Love, peace, and harmony. Love, peace, and harmony. How, how, how. Thank you, thank you, thank you. If you enjoyed the music, hit the heart button. Let everyone know. How much you enjoyed it now there could be some of you that's like what is this guy doing you know what is he singing and that's the mind getting busy that's also a reference to a closed heart when we look at true love when we look at why is it distant sometimes certainly not all the time but sometimes it's because the heart is not uh, in a position where it's in strength the mind is in control taking over things the heart the message center not the physical heart your soul heart is exceedingly important and relevant to true love now my teacher master Shaw has brought the wisdom in a much deeper way on the subject of Shen Qi and Jing you can open up uh, Eastern wisdom philosophies and find the words Shen Qi and Jing and Shan refers to the word spirit in the traditional structure. Jing refers to matter, like physical matter. And qi, you know, qigong, tai chi, is energy. This is typical, ancient, uh, simple wisdoms. Master Shah has taken that to a far deeper level. And he shares why do we have any suffering in any aspect of life? Very simple. Shen, qi, jing blockages. Well, the old wisdom would say spirit, energy matter blockages but how do you wrap your mind around that spirit energy matter blockages and and how does this have any association to me and my love life finding my true love keeping my true love you know maybe you found your true love but things are a bit distant right now how do we maintain those uh, keep those strong well, I'm by no means a relationship guru but I can share with you uh, some some wisdom from my soulmate uh, karma ebook and a lot of it was flowed wisdom it was wisdom based on actually just connecting with heaven and receiving guidance I will share with you the number one key 
right away, right out the gates, the number one key, right after I acknowledge some of the folks that have just come in also. So welcome Robin Toth, welcome Dan, aloha Rosetta, welcome Monica Spiegel, welcome Natalie Jones, aloha Jill McGrath, aloha, welcome uh, Margie McCracken, welcome Esther, welcome also to Andrea, Rita, aloha, welcome Carol, uh, Christopher Ronan, aloha, welcome Vanessa and Michelle Taylor, welcome also to Katharina. Uh, if I missed your name, forgive me, welcome, thank you for your presence. So what is the most base and simplest solution one that most of you might say oh I know that well then why do you still have trouble finding your true love if you know it why do you have that trouble if you have your true love and it's still distant why so you'll hear the answer but we must go much much deeper the reason anybody has difficulty in finding their true love is because their heart is not open and aligned to their Creator, to God, to Source, to Tao, by whatever name you wish to call it. Sounds very simple, doesn't it? Well, I love God. I talk to God every day. Great, congratulations. I'm glad that you do. Some of us do, some of us don't. Some of us only talk to the Divine when we are in trouble. Please help me, God. Some of us only use the name when we're cursing. Uh, opening our heart to the divine is the precursor to opening our heart to receiving love. In my Soulmate Karma book, I, I asked Kevin, I said, how many soulmates does a person have? And the answer was several. Each time someone incarnates, several. I thought that was quite interesting. I said, wow, more than one? I said, yes. I says, well, why is there more than one? <clears throat> and they said, because people have many lives. And in those many lives, they have many relationships. And several of those relationships create um, very harmonious conditions that follow. And people re realign themselves again and again, lifetime after lifetime. Um, I say sometimes, however, people will, will be, be in harmonious relationships and they will find each other again. And uh, you or this other person are at a specific level of energetic awakening. Isn't that interesting? This is the information I received. That the others that you could have aligned to as a soulmate were at a different level of energetic awakening. So let's say, for example, there was levels uh, 1, 5, and 10. And one is not awake at all. Five is a little bit awake and ten is very awake. Okay, You might be in the five range. And so you passed by the person that is still waking up. They're not quite there yet energetically, intelligently, spiritually um, awakened yet. They're not where you're at on that same level. And the person that's a ten, well, you're not there yet. And so you don't align to either of them. You align to the one that let's say is a five. And let's say that you found that true love in this example or that you will find them. There's a very high chance, very reasonable possibility, that during that relationship, you could have problems. Well, how is that possible? It's my true love. How could things possibly go wrong, right? Well, it's very simple when you break it down. The reason you two came together is because you have done this before. But the reason uh, uh, blockages put have the potential of arising is because both of you are on a spiritual journey. If in this example you're a, a fives on a 10 scale of spiritual awakening, then that's five more to go. You made the first level, but you got another half to go. And so it has been stated that those closest to us, our family members, our loved ones, are the ones that push our buttons the most. So when we look at why is love so distant, a big part of the reason why is because we either don't have our heart open enough to our divine creator, or if we have found our true love, <clears throat> life conditions occur in that relationship that cause us to close our heart. Now, I'm going to leave those two aside because there's, there's, there's about five or six things. They're not one or two. There's five or six things that get in the way of finding our true love or keeping our true love alive. So just set those two aside for now. Let's go to another one, a very important one. 
Welcome, Don Robinson. Welcome, Ilona. Welcome, Catherine. Welcome also to Deborah Anderson. Welcome, NNC. Welcome, Teresa Darling, uh, Michelle Taylor. Thank you so much for your presence. So what's another uh, factor? Well, one of the key factors is our inability to receive love. Now, that sounds very strange. Inability to receive love? I'm, I'm wide open for true love. I've been waiting. I've been screaming for it. I've been asking everybody, talking to God every night. I am ready for it. Where is it at? Right? How many of you can say amen to that? So a lot of us are just, we think we're ready for it, to receive love. But here's what happens. That person, you just look at the past relationship and you'll find out this is true. When a person enters your life, what do we tend to do in a relationship? We tend to put on our best face and bring our best foot forward so that we receive the love we want. So a lot of us, we give and then we give. And then what do we do? We give and we give and we give and we keep giving. And then all of a sudden that person leaves us or they cheat on us or they lie to us. We're like, well, wait a minute. What went wrong here? I've been in this relationship. I brought my whole self. I've been giving, 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 giving. And then they dump on me. What's up with all that? To, uh, raise your hand if this has happened to you. Okay. So why is a relationship distant? Why can our current relationship, a love filled relationship, have these kind of distances in them? It boils back to where was our love focused? It's very important to get this wisdom. Where was our love focused? If we are give, 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 we are doing that for a selfish reason. We are doing that so that we can receive the love because that's the rules, right? If we give, we're going to receive. But how, how well has that worked for you? For most of us, it doesn't always work out. Now, I'm not saying giving is not important. It's probably the most important thing. But it has to be done from the right angle, the right perspective. It has to be done for the right reasons. And vast majority of us don't do these things for the right reasons. We're giving so that we can receive that love. So when I state we have a problem with receiving, it has to do with our lack of understanding of the receiving process and the giving process. I go into these details in my Soulmate Karma book. And, I'm gonna, and I mentioned earlier, now there's a lot more people I'm going to mention again. There's going to be one lucky recipient of a Tao Soul Light Crown Chakra Blessing today. And uh, I made this decision yesterday uh, who was going to receive it. Okay, so... I apologize to all you in advance, but I needed um, I needed heaven to guide me on this. And so I've invited that person to come in today, and uh, uh, they can even share a little bit about their conditions. Now, I'm on my, my computer. I was going to see if they can come in on the live stream, but I don't know if they allow that on the computer. I know they do on the phone, but I'll see. But anyway, <clears throat> um, giving and receiving. Let's stay focused. Talking to myself. And so what, what does that mean? When we give, it needs to be unconditional. The vast majority of us have been trained since birth to give um, with hopes of being loved. In other words, a lot of the belief systems that are out there, they're built on a structure where if you do this, you'll receive this. If you do this, you'll get candy. If you do this, you'll get a positive pat on the back. If you do this, you will receive. Everything in our society is built around if you give, you will receive. Therefore, we, had, we bring this concept into a relationship. It doesn't work. I can promise you that. It fails miserably every single time. Why? Because in essence, what we're doing is we are putting the responsibility of the other person in the relationship to fill our heart. It's your responsibility to fill my heart. You're my spouse. You're my true love. You're the one I found. If you don't fill my heart, it's your problem. Well, we might not say that out loud, but that's really what happens. Okay? When we put the responsibility on somebody else to fulfill our heart, we set up the entire relationship for failure. How can you find true love if you do not open your heart first to receive it from the right place. Now we're back to the first thing, our alignment with the source. 
If we are not open to God's love, source love, creator love, universal love, pick a name. I don't care what you want to call the source creator. If our heart is not fully in alignment with the source love, and listen carefully, and being fulfilled by the source creator, which is the only one that can fulfill us, then we are not allowing ourselves to find true love. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait. I thought I was here to find something about finding the right man or the right woman in my life. This is about alignment to the source. Well, that doesn't help me. I want to find a good relationship. Listen carefully. When you fulfill your heart, when you open your heart to your creator fully, unconditionally, that's trust, that's the whole ball of wax, then your creator is the one that fills your heart. You no longer have an agenda to give to another so that you can be fulfilled. And trust me, it is an agenda. It is not a conscious one. It is a taught agenda. If you give, you receive. That's what we're taught. So we keep bringing it into the relationship and keep wondering why it keeps failing. We keep trying to find that right person and keep wondering why we can't. I changed my hair color. I changed my lipstick. I dieted. I did this. I did that. Why can't I find the right person? <laughs> because your heart is not open enough. You did not receive love from the divine. Now what's the flip side of that? How many of you have self-love issues? Meaning you don't honor yourself. You judge yourself. I'm not pretty enough. I'm not tall enough. I'm not skinny enough. I'm not fat enough. You know, my teeth look like this. My eyes look like that. That person's this. That person's that, right? We put other people up, put ourselves down, judge ourselves. Negative self-talk, right? How many of you can say that that's accurate for you? That is exactly the same as saying God created somebody that is inferior. God created me. Ugh, I'm inferior. Ugh. How do you think God thinks about you? Do you think God actually thinks that? And God said, huh. Oh, that one's a throwaway. We have to start over there. You think God actually says that about you? But we say that about ourselves, don't we? All the time. This is because we have a separation from the source. You get it? When we truly open our love to the source and we allow the source and the source's love to wash away our false. Uh, accepted teachings because so these are things that we accepted we accepted them from earth we accepted them all through our life we accepted them as truth when they're just false when we realize that all of those things we believe they're just false you know what God doesn't make mistakes creator doesn't make mistakes I am truly a perfect vessel there is there is uh, you know this, this body, this intellect, this everything, when you have this concept, when you bring this to your own self, this that I am is 100% perfect. And I only need the source's love. With the source's love, when you're truly aligned and you truly allow this to occur, there is simply no other way. True love will find you. The level of that true love that finds you Will be dependent on the level of awakening that you have if you're needing someone to fulfill you you will find somebody that needs the same fulfillment you'll all keep trying to fill each other up and you'll fail and you'll succeed and you'll fail and you'll succeed and you'll, you'll and you'll and you'll and you'll argue and you'll bicker and then you'll make up and, and it'll just be back and forth because you can never fill them up they can never fill you up the person that is fully aligned with the source receives the source love that's all they need it's their sunshine it's their water it's their elixir it is their everything then what happens to that person the true love that comes to them is the person that has that same kind of thinking they are not looking for a person to fulfill them they're already fulfilled they are not looking for somebody that they're not in the looking mode they're in the mode of 
I love God. God loves me. I am in alignment with the source. When a person enters my life, they will enter my life and they will support me in all of my thoughts, words, and actions. Guide me if I'm making some uh, mental emotional mistakes, but they will not judge me. They will not ex expect me to fulfill them and I certainly don't expect them to fulfill me. When two people enter into a relationship and they're already full, when their gas tanks are already full, wow. Now that's a miraculous relationship. That's a relationship where everything is very, very beautiful. But it requires one of the two people to be awakened enough to fulfill their love tank in the right place. So many people came to this live stream today hoping they would get some tidbits of wisdom they get out of a book or out of a magazine on how they can change one or two things. No, sorry, sorry to disappoint you. This is the highest wisdom. <clears throat> so what's a simple way to accomplish that? How do we open our heart to the source? How do we open our love uh, to, to the divine? How do we clear away these self-love blockages? There are many of them, aren't there? Well, there's a couple different ways you can do it. We'll do a practice today that works quite well for that. <clears throat> I did a practice earlier with some of my students. What did we do? We sent love and gratitude to the source creator. Then we sent it to Jesus and Mother Mary. Then we sent it to Buddha and Kuan Yin. Then we sent it to Krishna and Ganesha and other beings of light. Then we sent it to our own seven steam. We sent love to them, gratitude to them. Why does this open my heart more? How does this clear me of self-love blockages? How does this assist you? It's very simple. It's some of the most ancient, simple wisdom that very few of us apply on a consistent basis. And that is that when you give love to these beings of light who are dedicated, unconditional servants, meaning they're here to serve us, they're here to serve all souls, when we give love to them, what returns to us? How much more returns to us? A lot more. You give 1%, you get back 10%. You give 10%, you get back 100%. You give 100%, you get back 1,000%. So when we give love to those that are always serving us and gratitude to our source, to our creator, to all those beings of light around us, the love that comes back to us literally is like a power hose washing away all of the negative mindsets, negative attitudes, beliefs, everything we've thought wrong about it. It's just washing away our debris or the mud on our car because we're getting out of our own stuff. We're giving our love out. When you open your heart and you give your love, you truly open your heart, truly give your love, there would be tears in your eyes. You would literally feel the love on the return. You may be one of those souls that have difficulty receiving love. Okay, how do you clear that? Same way. The wisdom is the same. Give love. Now, many of us, I see Nirma makes a very good point. She says forgiveness. Many of us hold on to grudges. We hold on to anger. Urgh! I can't believe he did that to me. Urgh! Many of us hold on to Things that happened to us when we were young. Maybe one of the family members left and abandoned us. Maybe the spouse was said a lot of negative things about you know the mother or the father after they left. Okay? And that brings negative mindsets, attitudes, and beliefs. Keeps our heart closed. That could be inhibiting you to find your true love. Maybe it's um, somebody you were in a relationship, a true love relationship. And then they did all these. They did these things to me. Okay? So we hold on to those. Now, probably all of you on some level are going to say, yeah, but I let that go. I've forgiven them. I probably believe about 30% of you. Okay? Now, 70%, I believe that you have released some of it. But if you're one of those that says, yeah, I did that. I've been there, done that. Have you found your true love yet? If your answer is no, then guess what? There's still some blockages in there. They haven't left yet, okay? So uh, what do we do about that? Well, we apply forgiveness. 
And we've taught this many times before, but it doesn't make it any less real or any less valuable. Forgiveness is the panacea for finding true love. Send your love to Source Creator. Fill your heart. But you can only fill your heart as wide as your heart is open. And if you still can't seem to receive love, you still can't seem to open your heart more there's a very high probability you have to do a lot more forgiveness forgiveness is an awakening process it's a process through which you recognize that everything that happens in life has a root cause everything that happens has an origination point when you cannot find true love maybe you uh, Maybe you inhibited others from finding theirs. When you cannot find true love, maybe you uh, made vows or promises in previous times or lifetimes and then broke those vows or promises and other people's hearts were closed and hurt. Uh, maybe you, in a previous time you were a gossiper and said negative things. Forgiveness is the way we release those kinds of blockages. Forgiveness is acknowledging that there is underlying reasons why I still can't find that true love or why my spouse continues to lie even though other parts of our relationship are good or why whatever it might be. If you have a current relationship and this and this and this part work but this and this part does not work. The parts that do not work is where you need to do the forgiveness. If those parts that aren't working in your life, you can't find true love, this part of, the, of your current relationship is not working. That's exactly where you need to do your forgiveness. Okay? How do you do a good deep forgiveness? Example, dear all the souls that have ever harmed me, kept me from having true love, lied to me, broken their vows of love to me, all the souls that have caused me to be angry, hurt, all those that have dumped on me. I have been holding this grudge for a long, long time. I have been angry and upset because I trusted you. I put my faith into you. And then you did all these things to me. If you look back at those times, you might have been, uh, I give you love, you give me love. You could have been in that space. Okay. Also, from the forgiveness perspective, it's possible that if the roles were reversed at a different time, you could have been the one breaking vows. You could have been the one making promises and breaking promises. You could have been the one uh, taking advantage of the other and so forth. So you offer forgiveness. Offer forgiveness to all those people because your heart is going to remain half open until you fully let go. Source cannot come in and fill your heart if you're busy holding on to grudges and angers and everything else. Cannot. <clears throat> when you open your heart, somebody asks the question, how do you know if it's your true love? When you do not put your focus on, is this my true love? Is this my true love? Is this my true love? When you make your true love the source creator, fill your heart from source creator, that other person will either come closer to you or move away why would they move away because your frequency is higher you no longer demand or need their love to fulfill you if they become closer it's, it's possible they, they feel your love and they want more of it so they're like fill me up fill me up that's a possibility or they recognize that you don't need them to feel your love and that brings you much closer together many far too many people put their focus on the other person, their whole world revolves around them. You're like the earth revolving around the sun when you get into a relationship. And I don't mean that for everybody, but how many of you can say, yeah, that's me, right? Probably a lot of you can raise your hand to that one, you know? And we revolve around what the other person thinks, what they say, when they put us down, da, 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 da. Stop it. You're hurting yourself. Align your heart to God's heart. Sin love, sin love, sin love. Forgive, forgive, forgive. Keep fulfilling your gas tank there. You will discover that the way you bring yourself physically and emotionally to a communication changes. You will discover that the way you look at that person changes. You will see the good in them 
when they're not being so nice. You will say nice things back to them when they're not being so nice and they will change. Because when you align your heart to the divine's heart, you open your heart to them. You, you see their, 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 um, their heart is closed. That's why they're saying unpleasant things. You open your heart, you say, I forgive you. Please forgive me if I've ever communicated with you in the same way. Let us move higher. Let us sit down and send love to God together. This is an example. Okay? So you can solve a lot of problems in your life. Find your true love. Fix current relationships by not revolving around the other person's world, by not expecting them to fulfill your heart. It's a lose-lose scenario. Win-win. Always give your heart to God. Open your heart as wide as possible. So this is... Uh, common sense things that you can do <clears throat> when you uh, there are other things you can do which I'm going to offer examples now when I came across the wisdom of Master Shah he taught these same things this is just verbiage in my own way of expressing things hopefully they serve you but I still had these blockages I had not found true love and uh, no matter what I did, <laughs> it still didn't work, okay? And so he had to give me blessings. So I received blessings from a master teacher. And now I am a master teacher, certainly not as high as Master Shah. Thank you. I love you, Master Shah. But I now have the ability to offer blessings. And so uh, I'm going to give everybody an example. Now I want you to... Um, Listen carefully, and you can write these down. Matter of fact, you probably should write these down. And um, there will be links posted where you can access these. But there is a choice of a, what's called a Tao Soul Light Crown Chakra Blessing. And uh, yesterday when I was uh, talking to a woman, she's going to interview me on a radio show, she said, well, why does a person receive a Crown Chakra Blessing for a heart-related issue, you know, a uh, message center heart chakra blockage? because that's where relationship blockages typically are. And so says, why does the blessing come to the crown? And I said, that's a very good question. And I float out the answer to her, and I'll paraphrase it, that the, the crown chakra blessing is heaven's nectar, heaven's virtue, heaven's greatest love that comes through your crown and literally bathes your body it goes to the areas where the blockages are. There could have negative mindsets, right? I'm never, I'm not good enough. God doesn't love me. Or you could have negative beliefs. You know, I'm not pretty enough, fat enough, tall enough, short enough, blah, 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 blah. It could go to the heart where you've been holding on to blockages with the X, right? With the X. And these blockages just fail to release. Hard to forgive. Maybe it goes to an area of deep, deep, deep suffering from early childhood. Maybe there was a trauma in early childhood. So the crown chakra blessing is heaven knows exactly where to go to release these traumas, these negative energies that disallow you from opening your heart to love. So uh, I've created five crown chakra blessings, and I'm going to deliver one of these today to a person I'll reveal in a moment. And so these are the five different ones. Now, a crown chakra blessing uh, is a two-minute blessing. So those of you that are watching that have a, a spiritual third eye, I, I want you to report what you see. Um, and each one of us can use one or two. Some people can use all five of these. So the first one is a crown chakra blessing to find your true love. So the blockage is associated with that. Or aspects of those blockages will be released how much of those blockages it might take a second or third crown chakra blessing it depends on how deep they are sometimes one's enough person shows right up sometimes it's blockages that keep you from finding your true love with the source uh, heaven knows exactly what to give each individual soul the second one is a crown chakra blessing to open your heart to love again because some of us have closed our heart to love after maybe we were dished. So that could be perfect for some of you. Another one is a crown chakra blessing to increase love in an existing relationship. Whoa, how beautiful is that? Many of you watching already have an existing relationship, but it needs more love. 
So what does this do? The In Master Shah's wisdom, there is your soul, their soul, and the relationship has a soul. Did you know that? I've taught this before. The relationship is lived longer than both you in this physical realm uh, because you two have been with each other before, before, before. So that means the relationship soul is big and fat and has a lot of memories. And some of those memories might be negative. So the blessing goes to the relationship soul and clears negative memories so that you guys can come closer together. Isn't that beautiful? The fourth possible crown chakra blessing is a crown chakra blessing to open your heart more to your beloved divine creator. This is a huge one. People have no idea just how important that is. Open your heart to the divine. So this is the fourth one. The fifth one is a crown chakra blessing to release pain from a past love, a lost love. It could have been lost from uh, somebody passing on. It could have been a lost love uh, from uh, any number of ways. But if you're still holding on to pain, that could keep your heart closed. Okay. So these are the five different crown chakra blessings that are available. You can get one, two, five of them, whatever you'd like. And for those that are interested, uh, they can order, um, if they honor for four of them, they get one complimentary, okay? The Crown Chakra Blessings, just FYI, are $100 each. So now I'm going to offer a demonstration. Um, welcome to all those who I haven't acknowledged coming in. Thank you for your presence. So I followed Heaven's guidance. I asked Heaven who would be the best person to receive this, who needs it the most, basically. And I received the name Catherine O'Shea. So let us all offer Catherine uh, congratulations to being the one who has chosen to receive this crown chakra blessing. And this blessing will be for finding her true love. Okay. Now before that, I'm going to do a soul reading as to why this has not occurred for Catherine. Catherine, I need you to type in if it's okay for me to do that publicly. Uh, why you have not been able to find your true love. Um, I'm going to see if this gives me a chance to invite you in. And I'm on the computer, Catherine, so it does not give me a chance. Let me see here now. It doesn't give me a chance. Nope. To invite anybody in. So we're going to have to do this via texting. So Catherine, I need to see you pop up saying, yes, it's okay. I can... Uh, Offer guidance as to why you haven't found your true love yet. And when I do these crown chakra blessings, for anyone who receives them, I will also offer a soul reading either before or after the blessing so you have guidance as to uh, what you received and the value of the blessings. Catherine says, Hello, everyone. Uh, uh, for much of my life, I've had deep self love issues and was seeking love through the approval of others. If a mate showed interest in me romantically, would often accept this and override any of her true feelings and she would go along with accepting while wow, she wrote a lot you guys should read this um, so I'm guessing that she's uh, open to me sharing uh, most likely a lot of you can resonate with what Catherine has written there about self-love and how others uh, have right so let's do a reading and find out what the root cause is okay <clears throat> How this is Quan Yin, goddess of compassion. I have come because I am often with Catherine, assisting her to keep her heart open. This soul has dedicated her life to serve humanity prior to her entrance into this realm. She knew that she would have many challenges. She came from a place in which physical relationship was not necessarily needed or desired. There was great love in this place, and there was no separation from that love. In entering into this realm, there was great 
loss. She forgot the Creator's love. She fell prey to the people, life, and conditions around her that did not represent the love that she came from and accordingly has felt distant from the divine's love the reason she has not found true love is because she literally has forgotten it now this does occur for many souls as the veil is brought upon souls entering this realm for our beloved Catherine in order to find her true love she must further align her soul with the divine forgive him her for the angst she has held on to at the level of soul for the pain of the separation that occurred it is an interesting quagmire to say the least the soul desires to come in to serve with all its heart and then upon entry forgets the love and has actually felt mm, abandoned i guess is an accurate word by the divine at the deepest level so for our beloved Catherine on top of Master Paul's hand I will offer a blessing that will increase her alignment to her beloved divine releasing the deeply seeded roots of abandonment how how, how. thank you Kuan Yin okay so Catherine prepare to receive any of those watching that have spiritual third eye please make note and offer anything that you may see <clears throat> this will be a two-minute crown chakra blessing which I will do for her finding her true love and Kuan Yin said she would offer blessing on top of that so she's very blessed <clears throat> crown chakra blessing for Catherine start thank you thank you you're beyond 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 blessed Catherine for those that came in late highly recommend you watch from the beginning once this becomes a recording 
I just delivered a very special crown chakra blessing uh, to Catherine. Uh, anybody who saw anything with their spiritual eye, you're welcome to report. I will go ahead and share with you um, some information and what I saw. Well, and then I'll read your guys' comments. How this is the divine. My beloved daughter Catherine is most blessed on this day. This root issue has, in essence, plagued her since she was birthed into this third dimension. Her heart has always been open to serve. This has never been a problem. The problem has been that she has missed the love from whence she came. And there has always been the gap of emptiness. During this blessing, I sent her my greatest love. My beloved daughter, Quan Yin, channeled her purest compassion to fulfill many layers in her base chakra areas that were insufficient, weak, and unfulfilled. A foundation has been laid for our beloved daughter to further align to my soul and achieve her tasks. Her true love will come when she lets go and fully aligns to my heart which is actually quite close this has never been the problem it has been the allowing trusting and releasing that is the key she is very loved on this day this is the divine ha 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 thank you thank you thank you so thank you for that message divine and what i saw was um I saw exactly what the divine was describing, which was these layers of lights coming in. But I saw Kuan Yin, you know, sometimes Kuan Yin shows up with her multiple arms. And I saw her going, tuk, 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 like 10 hands right above Catherine's head. And then just this huge amount of love was coming in. And it was building her foundation. It was filling in like crevices and cracks and caves of emptiness that were all in the lower part of her torso. Uh, and they, they were not being fulfilled. Uh, there was emptiness there. And so this is massive, massive amount of, of uh, clearing was occurring and filling, a lot of filling was occurring. So she is very, very blessed. So um, let's see if there's any uh, comments. Yes. Valerie, I didn't see your name until now. I don't know how long you've been watching, but please watch from the beginning. Now, for for um, for those that just came in, I'm still waiting to see some more comments. This crown chakra blessing, all five of them can be found at the, the web link listed above when I started this live video. There's a web link listed there. Also, Kristen Rojas posts. Uh, she lists these links. And when you click on it, you'll go directly to my page on my website where you see a choice of five crown chakra blessings. You can choose one, two, five, whatever you want. If you want all five, just honor for four of them, and then you get the fifth one complimentary, okay? And for anyone that um, requests these crown chakra blessings, then uh, they get a complimentary ebook. My ebook is called Soulmate Karma. And so on this page, it's listed right there. You can download it right away. Um, and if you're not going to get the crown chakra blessing, you can purchase it for the twelve dollars and ninety nine cents. Uh, you can find it at the bottom of my home page uh, there. And so let's see what some of the comments are. <clears throat> um, Angie says, absolutely amazing and so beautiful, uh, feeling tears of joy, strength, and deserving. Catherine says, uh, thank you from my heart and soul. I saw a beautiful love and light come in. It was as if my whole body was dis disassembled and nourished with light and connected to source love. There was a waterfall of love and light. I was reassembled and the veil was lifted and the flowers came down. She saw beautiful sands and fountains, uh, lots of flow of love. Beautiful. 
yeah, that's very similar to, to what I was shown as well. So again, to repeat, the different crown chakra blessings, a crown chakra blessing to release pain from past, you know, lost love, a lost love, could have lost, or a past love, and you just can't seem to let go of that so you can move on. Um, a crown chakra blessing to open your heart more to the divine, very, very important. A crown chakra blessing to increase love in an existing relationship. Uh, another possibility is the crown chakra blessing to open your heart to love again. And finally, a crown chakra blessing to find your true love. So these are the five options that are available. And Kristen, I see, just posted the links again. And so I'm here to serve you. I'm grateful for this opportunity to serve each and every one of you. Some of us might be in a very a good relationship. And you just want to open your heart more. I would suggest opening your heart more to the divine in that case. Okay? So I'm very grateful to Master Shah for giving me this wisdom and the power to serve you. Uh, if you want to connect, you can follow through uh, through this web link. You can also contact me on Facebook Messenger. Um, also, uh, for those that are in the U.S., you can text me, uh, my phone number. And uh, But don't call me. I have many, many tasks. Text me, and then we set up a time. And I can take care of you that way if you're in the U.S., okay? Love you, love you, love you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Gong song, gong song, gong song. I will see you all next time. Bye-bye.